Hello class 11, welcome to your education online class. We have already started discussing the difference, uh, the, the different uh, topics of your unit 1 test and uh, in the last video we have started discussing the questions of this chapter growth and development. So today we will start with uh, what is growth and what are the uh, characteristics of growth. Now see in your book growth means here it is written growth is the process of change in the size and volume of in individual. Growth is indicative and quantitative in nature. The process of growth has got two main features, its volume and the body of the child and the second thing is uh, growth is, is always measurable. So see growth is a factor, um, is, it is a uh, physical factor isn't it and it takes place, uh, it's a lifelong process isn't it and uh, we can understand that um, when uh, we are telling that yes it is uh, the boy has become tall or the girl has become like a big lady it's a, she's a lady like so what does it mean it is we can see it from outside isn't it so growth is a change is a physical change which indicates the in the differ the difference of an individual in his size volume and um, weight isn't it so growth in is a type of physical change which is helping individual which uh, indicates that uh, yes the individual is uh, he has become older he has become a big boy it's measurable it can be seen it can be observable okay now if we discuss the characteristics of um, uh, the growth what we can say that growth is a change in volume isn't it because it is measurable so and next is what growth is uh, 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 it's a type of qualitative change, quantitative change because it is measurable. So how much the child is growing? Is the growth properly, uh, the growth is um, happening properly or not? Whether doctors must be consulted or not? And another thing is what? Growth is for a fixed life. In that throughout the life, the growth will not occur, isn't it? So it is having fixed time period and always growth is measurable so i will write down the important characteristics of growth which you can write number one growth is it is used it is used for it is used for physical physical sense isn't it so, growth is a physical change. Number two is what? It is a growth is a part of development. Part of development. Isn't it? When we are telling that yes, the, um, uh, it is a development. So, growth is a part. Without growth, development is incomplete. Isn't it? Number three, it is not a lifelong process, isn't it? Like height, height is a type of growth, isn't it? So, up to the age of death, a person cannot increase its height. So there is a fixed stage up to this that there is a fixed stage of increasing height. After that, the child or the adult will not grow anymore taller isn't it and fourth one we can tell that it is always measurable in nature isn't it so if we discuss all the characteristics of growth we will see that number one growth is always used for a physical sense because it is a physical issue growth means it is always about your physical condition, physical health. Number two, growth is a part of development. Development will not occur if your body will be like a small one year baby. There is a disease. I exactly don't know what is the name of the disease. The size of the body does not increase. It's dwarfism. 
it's a type of so that is over there we must say that the growth has not taken place properly and that is hampering the development so growth is always a part of development thirdly it is not a lifelong process as i have told you the uh, your height will not increase lifelong isn't it it is having a fixed stage after that it will start and finally it is always measurable in the next video we are going to see what is um, uh, what is development and what are the characteristics of development thank you